Hello everyone, my name is Nathan. I'm a developer advocate here at Komunda, and today I want to talk through one of the most common questions that I get when I'm speaking with other developers, and that is, how do I begin migrating an existing workflow in an existing application over to a process engine like Komunda? Um, and of course, the answer is, it depends. It's going to depend a lot on your application architecture. It's going to depend a lot on how those services are already built and deployed. Uh, it's going to depend on the process itself. Is it a very complex process with a lot of decision points? Is it a long running process? Uh, or is it something a little bit more straightforward? And so unfortunately, I can't give you a step-by-step -step guide for migrating your application over to Komunda. Uh, however, there are a couple very high level points to keep in mind as you start thinking about that process. Uh, the first step you want to take is to actually open uh, a tool like Komunda Modeler and design your process using BPMN. Uh, you want to make sure that that process is built out end to end so that you can see every step along the way. And that's going to provide a very helpful roadmap for the development teams to figure out where they need to build those integration points, how that communication between the process and the application are going to happen. Uh, without having that process already built as a BPMN model, it's very difficult to move forward. Uh, the second step is now that you have that model built, you're going to begin integrating it. Maybe that's a combination of job workers and out of the box connectors from Komunda, maybe using the REST connector and maybe the Kafka connector. Um, or maybe you need to build a custom connector uh, to fulfill your needs. There's a lot of flexibility there. There's a lot of options. It's a full open API and you can bring any language that you need to connect with Komunda. Uh, but that's the next step to begin that integration. And then the third step, of course, is to test it. Go ahead and deploy that process to some sort of test or staging environment, run through it, make sure that everything's working as expected uh, before you deploy it to production. That's a very important step. And as I said, those are really high level. Uh, in, in one way, those seem quite obvious steps to take when you're planning a migration process. Um, but in another way, you know, maybe it's something that somebody hasn't thought about. So it's, a, so it's good to say them out loud. Um, but back to that original question, it doesn't really answer that question. So what I've done is I've written the blog post that you see on your screen right here, and I have some code to go along with it. And this is meant to be an exercise for developers. This shouldn't take more than a couple hours. Uh, think of it as uh, doing a workshop at a conference, perhaps. And what the goal of this is, is to present you with an application that has a workflow already inside of it that functions within an application using the CQRS pattern. And what we're going to do is migrate that out of that communication pattern, and we're going to move that into Komunda. So first, let's take a quick look at that code. Um, you can find it here in GitHub if you go to the Komunda Community Hub slash DevRelLone demo. Um, this is the application itself. Now, keep in mind that this is not an enterprise application. This is meant to mimic an enterprise application. Uh, and the enterprise application that it's mimicking is a loan origination service for a financial institution. So the idea here is that there's a form somewhere that uh, a loan applicant fills out providing their you know, first name, last name, address, uh, an amount for the loan, whether what, what kind of loan it is, a home loan or an auto loan, et cetera. Uh, and then it moves through a series of steps within the application to try to approve or reject that particular loan. And uh, the way that it does that currently internally is it has a, an internal messaging system using the CQRS pattern sort of mimicking, say, how microservices might communicate with each other. But the other thing it exposes is a set of RESTful APIs. Uh, and I've provided both a Bruno and a Postman collection here uh, for easy access to see what those API endpoints are and what the, what the payloads are expected to be. Um, so this gives you a, a nice, easy overview of the application and all the different hooks you can pull in as you're designing your process. The last thing that's provided is a process requirements document. And if we click over to that, this details what the workflow inside of the application is. So I've sort of already done half of that first step for you. I've, I've defined the process in words, and now the next step, the challenge presented to you, the developer, is to take this uh, process requirements document, 
turn it into a BPMN model. And then the second step is to take that BPMN model and integrate it back with this code using those REST API endpoints. Um, and let's walk through a few of those steps just to see what this, what this uh, process looks like overall. So, uh, so the, the form is submitted. Uh, we need to validate it, standard form validation. If it's not valid, we need to send a rejection email. The next step is we need to pull a credit report so that we have a credit score. Uh, and from that credit score, we can do a risk assessment. Uh, and then there's some additional steps outlined here below. So let's click over to Kamunda Modeler and let's go ahead and start modeling uh, what that would look like. So actually, let me add a comment here first. This is the user submits a loan application form. Slide that out of the way. And this first step we said uh, was that we need to validate the loan application. And we have a REST endpoint for that. So I'm going to make this a REST connector. And then next we have a decision point. We're either going to pass or we're going to fail. If we fail, we're going to, excuse me, we're going to send an invalid application, if I can spell, invalid application notice. Um, and for that, I'm gonna use our out of the box SendGrid connector. Connect directly to SendGrid, make sending an email very easy. And for this one, next we're going to pull the credit report. And we will use a REST connector here as well. And on and on, we can continue to model this process. So going back to the process requirements, this is the first step. Defining what that workflow is within your application, coming to Kamunda Modeler and designing that process end to end. The next step is integrating that with the application. So I've gone ahead and created a model and already done that to save some time in the video. So of course we have the first step where the user submits the loan application form. Um, this particular step here I've added for this demo. Uh, so I'm going to use a, a form through task list, the Kamunda task list application uh, to start this particular process, which means the data is coming into Kamunda first, not into my application. Uh, so I'm going to take the data from that form, push it back to the application to write the record to the database before I move on to the next steps. Depending on how you design your particular process for this challenge, you might not have this step. Um, next, we're going to validate that application. If it's invalid, we're going to send the invalid notice. Next, we're going to pull the credit report, perform the risk assessment, validate collateral, excuse me, manual review, sign the paperwork until we reach the end of the task. And if anything fails or is rejected along the way, we hit an error condition, which sends a rejection notice and ends the process completely. Um, now, to connect this back to the code, I mentioned that we have RESTful endpoints for a lot of this, and that's exactly what I'm using here. So if you take a look at the definition of this particular task, we're using the REST outbound connector. Um, there's no authentication set up for this simple demo. And we're going to send a post request to the loan applications endpoint. You'll notice here that I'm using a connector secret uh, to manage the URL. This makes it very simple for me to maintain multiple environments. I mentioned that a critical step is going to a testing or a staging environment to validate your process before you go to production. And using secrets is a very easy way to switch that URL without having to come into the BPMN model and manually change that URL every single time. Um, down here we have the body that we're sending. Um, sorry, it was minimized, there it is. Uh, so we have, uh, these are the values that are coming out of the form, which I'll show you in a moment. We have uh, the given name, surname, address, city, state, postcode, uh, the loan amount, and the loan type. And then when we get that response back from the REST API, we're going to pull out the loan application ID and the ID of the loan applicant because we're going to need those for further steps. So looking ahead to the validate application step, again, we're using a REST outbound connector. I'm using the same secret to manage my URL. And uh, this time we have an ID in the URL, so I can use a field expression to add that to my URL. So the final URL is going to be this demo URL slash API slash loan applications slash whatever the loan application ID is slash validate. 
And then again, we take the response, whether it's valid or not, and any particular errors so that we can move on to the decision gateway and move through each one of these steps. Uh, I won't click through them all. I think you get the idea. Uh, but real quick, let's take a look at that form and see how that works. So in Komuna Modeler, I also have a loan application form. And this is just a very simple form. We take first name, last name, address, city, state, postal code, uh, the loan amount, and the loan type. And what I've done in Komuna Modeler here is I have linked the form to the start event. You can see that down here in the definition. And what that means is when I deploy this process, that form is now publicly available. I can go to this URL, fill out the form, and it will start this process. And let's take a look at how that works now. We have the form already open here. Um, we're going to fill this out for, not for myself, we're gonna fill this out for James Holden, for the Expanse fans out there. Um, I have no idea what his street address may or may not be in the future, uh, but I believe he originally came from Windmills, Montana which is a fake place as far as I know. So I'm just going to give it a fake postal code of 12345. Um, and let's say that, uh, that Jim Holden wants a $25,000 loan, uh, auto loan. We'll call it an auto loan. And we're going to submit that. Once this kicks through, um, this is actually going to start that process within Camunda. Uh, it'll take just a moment here on my test cluster which i have as a lower tier it takes a moment to process and here we can see that the new process is in here and running oh and we're already onto the validate collateral step so i was even a little bit too slow i was i was too gracious there uh, so we've created the loan application within the database we've validated it uh, we've determined that it's valid so we pulled a credit report uh, we ran a risk assessment the risk assessment passed and so now we're on to the validate collateral step and let's take a look at what that looks like within task list, just to complete the process here. So there is our validate collateral task. I'm gonna assign it to me. Uh, we are going to approve it. And within operate, we will see this move from the validate collateral task over to the manual review task because I approved it which now means that I have an additional task and task list for the manual review. We'll assign that to me. I'm going to approve this one. And then we'll see this move to the final step of signing the paperwork. Because again, I did approve it, so that's the gateway path we're going to follow. There's the signed paperwork, so I'm assigned to me. Uh, this is a read-only version of the form that we saw before, just reiterating the applicant's details. And I, James Holden, uh, approve this loan. I want the $25,000 for my new automobile. And we have successfully completed the process. Um, so again, this is uh, this demo application is meant to just give you a platform to practice migrating uh, from a more traditional application structure uh, and architecture over to a process engine like Komunda. Um, and just to get a feel for how that works and what those code changes might be. So I encourage everybody to come out to the Komunda Community Hub organization and GitHub, check out the DevRel loan demo, um, give it a shot for yourself. I would love to see what sort of VPMN model you create for yourself. Uh, hopefully it's a little bit different than the one that you saw on my screen. There's several different ways to model this. Uh, so I would love to see what you come up with. Um, and give it a test, get a feel for how that works, and let me know any feedback you have. You can, uh, you can open a, an issue on GitHub, or you can head over to the Komunda forum at forum.komunda.io and open a new topic there with, uh, with how you modeled it or any questions you have about the migration process. Thanks for watching.